good morning, or afternoon, or whatever time you're watching this. It stepped onto the scales again this morning, and I'm not very good with mathematics, and Kirsty said, Oh, well done, it's eight pounds. It's like eight pounds, it's not eight pounds. I don't know exactly what I was the other day. But apparently I wasn't, uh, so I've actually lost eight pounds now over the course of seven days, which I'm absolutely over the moon. And, and I'm loving the, the, the choices of food, really am. I'm having a pear and a scrambled egg every single day. But the scrambled egg is not just normal scrambled egg. It, I, I add you know, either Italian herbs or oregano, or for our American compadres, so they say oregano. Um, so I mix it up, so I had paprika and oregano in it this morning. Uh, yesterday I had some uh, whole grain mustard in it yesterday, just a little tiny bit. I think tomorrow I'm going to go for maybe a couple of cherry tomatoes in there, just to mix it up, just to keep it different. Uh, looking forward to salmon and spinach later on today. I love spinach. I absolutely love it, especially cooked spinach. I mean, raw spinach, yeah, yeah, take it or leave it. Kirsty loves raw spinach, but I love the, the cooked spinach. And I've started to get some tattoos on my, my arms of anchors. Strange. Hey, what do you know? I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon with my weight loss and over the moon with the, the choices of food. I'm having lots of uh, tea and coffee without milk. So just it's all just like black tea. Um, but I'm loving it and it's just I've got a newfound taste for it. So yeah, absolutely loving everything that's going off. We had our washer door fixed because <laughs> the handle fell off. <laughs> uh, so thank you to the kind gentleman of uh, SR Washers. I think it was Washer Repairs, SR Washer Repairs. Anyway, so thank you so much indeed for that. That's brilliant. And also further down the line on this vlog, we've got to give a huge mention for a brilliant family. We were in the village the other day uh, with Johnny Cole, who's raised 5K by running 5K every day throughout February. There's also another amazing family that have been raising much needed cash for brain tumor and children's charities. They've done a sterling job. So more on that later on in the vlog. Very exciting day of production. I'll, uh, t I'll tell you more about that and I'll vlog that a little bit later on. But in the meantime, have yourself a great day, y'all. Welcome to the studio. Uh, one of the wonderful things that I love doing is opening up my inbox on the morning and finding out what is in store for me today. And in store for me today, I'm going to say hello to the wonderful Chris Story, radio broadcaster extraordinaire, does an evening show once a week across a network of different radio stations. And he always comes, <laughs> comes up with something very, very funny. And today he wants me to do an introduction and a themed bed to the style of a working men's club. <laughs> and so he's got uh, the idea of a character that he's gonna be portraying. So he just needs an introduction. So I'm going to do him a typical introduction to what would have been the nightclubs of the 1970s, 1980s in the United Kingdom, especially if you are aware of the Batley nightclub. I think there's, there's a fair few Americans actually know about the Batley nightclub. You know, Batley nightclub was where everyone used to go uh, back in the day. I'm gonna do an intro in the style of that right now. So here goes. I'll just hit my record circuit on here. First things first, got to do the tap on the microphone and add the feedback whistle and have people in the background. Okay, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, raise your glasses for the king of clubland, Mr. Ron Keys. All right, I'll do that again. I'll probably do it in a different style as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, raise your glasses for the king of clubland, Mr. Ron Keys. I think that was a better one. So we'll go with that one. And then he wants just the king of clubland, Ron Keys. The king of clubland, Ron Keys. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of echo to that and some feedback and some sound effects and a crazy organ sound to it as well and it should sound pretty awesome and this is how it sounds ladies and gentlemen raise your glasses for the king of clubland mr ron case and there you go i love that organ <laughs> i think it's fantastic so there we go uh, just one of those crazy jobs that i tend to get every now and then 
as I open up my inbox on Definitive Media. If you want anything, by the way, for you and your company, your business, whatever it is, you've seen how diverse it is, uh, do get in touch with me. That'd be fantastic. Thank you. Hi, Mars Bars. Hello. hello. We've been asked to do a huge hello and a big well done to a certain, well, family and friends. So we've got to say hello to Louise Gofton and several family members and friends that have set themselves a challenge to do a virtual walk from Land's End to John O'Groats. Now, obviously, they can't do that, can they? Because oh, yeah. it's lockdown. Mm -hmm. So what they decided to do was walk around our village, which is they've walked the equivalent around our village of 1,078 miles. Is, is there actually 1,078 miles of our village yeah, to walk yeah. around? Anyway, so they've done this, and they did it because they got some sad news that Louise's nephew had a life-threatening brain tumour. So they just wanted to do something. You know, you get news like that, you just want to do something. And in our previous vlogs, we've seen Johnny Cole do the amazing 5K run that he's done every single day through February. So these guys have walked 1,078 miles. They've walked around the village, and they've completed the walk now. They've done the walk. Have a guess. Ben, I'm going to say to you, do you know how much they've raised? Yeah. Go for it. Is it 15,000? They've raised 13,171 pounds, and the money's going to go to charities that support children with families with brain tumours and the older hay hospital. So, can we just a big round of applause? <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Teaser's looking what we're clapping at. We're just clapping. We're clapping for Louise and her family and friends. And also, on top of that, Louise decided to help the charity Brain Tumour Research by walking 10,000 steps a day, on top of that, uh, throughout the whole of February, and she's raised 300 pounds. So, yet again, big round of applause. Well done. Well done. Uh, you're truly amazing. You really are absolutely fantastic, guys, and uh, and keep up the great work. And if you want to mention, if you want us to big you up on one of our vlogs, then please do let us know. Just uh, just send us a message via the Facebook or YouTube's, and uh, and we'll get it done for you. All right. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks to Kev, by the way, Kev that brought it to our attention. Thanks, Kev. Good evening. We are playing. Happy, and it's a family fortune. <laughs> That's because I remember. We're playing Happy Families. The oh, the irony! Yeah. <laughs> I play that game. Yeah, we? we love Happy Families. It's great. Yeah. We played this in Ibiza loads of times. Yeah, we had some such good fun with this. I was trying to explain to Ben what you have to do. So you have to remember. 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 Four members. Right. Do you remember? Four members of each family. Good. So you have to collect a family. You've got to keep asking if somebody got Mister, somebody or Barca, somebody, so that you can collect that family. And then once you've got four members of the same family or the same colour, if it helps, you can put the put them down face down. That, that one's done then. And you keep collecting as many families as you can is the uh, winner. Have you got Master Bun? Me. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Holly, do you have Mr. Stuff? Dad, do you have a master bun? Well, yes, you know I've got master bun, but I've just asked for it. I know, that was a funny. I'm, hang on. St freeze. 15 minutes later. Continue. Just... So, we've reread the, the instructions and this is how you play it. Okay, right. So, uh, Holly, do you have master bun? Holly, do you have Mr. Bun? No. You see? And that's Happy Families. That's one family down there, you see. And then I go, Mum, do you have Master Chalk? So Dad's reread the rules and only Dad players, and we sit just back. <laughs> oh, right then, Dad. Do you there have you go. Master Chalk? Right. Mum, do you have Miss Chalk? No. No, you see, and then that's when I go, oh man. So now is it better? Um, that's good. Mum, do you have Mr. Stamp? No. Okay, so you made a mistake, you move on to you. You ask people now. Dad, 
Dad, do you have the bun family? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Go. Funny. Yeah, because I should have just said, Mr. Bond, Mr. Bond, Mr. Bond. Yeah, I know, but that's the idea. But it might not be me. You might have got, you might have got Mr. Bond. Okay. But anyway, yeah, ben. yeah, yeah. Ben, do you have... Without looking at his cards. M Mrs. Stamp. Um, yeah. My intelligence. Later that same evening, Oh, Dad, 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 Dad,